Today, we bring you the unboxing and installation guide for MRT SATA equalizer. Firstly, we can see four pairs of screws. In the corner of the equalizer, it records compatible Western Digital USB PCB number. The two central screws are used to secure the equalizer and the protection board. We remove the screws and vertically take it out along the guide column. Remove the entire mold from both sides and observe the appearance. The protection board is actually stuck at the bottom and usually does not need to be removed. The protection board has corresponding holes for guide columns and screws to protect the pins of equalizer. If there is any looseness, you can tighten it clockwise a little. Use tweezers to remove the screws and guide columns from the mold. Considering transportation issues, the openings in the mold are relatively small. So it may require some effort to take it out for the first time. Here we recommend using tweezers. Here we have two pairs of screws, one pair is shorter, and the other pair is longer. The short screws need to be installed on hard drive, and the long screws are used to secure the equalizer. This is a WD USB series hard drive with PCB number 810003 and a Type C interface. Now we demonstrate removing the screws on both sides and the PCB screws. Note. For 810,003, the screws in this area do not need to be removed. We need to prepare tools of different models to dismantle the screws. First, install the short screws onto the hard drive. They are used to secure the SATA equalizer. Next, install four guide columns. When installing the equalizer, align it with the guide columns, and there is no need to apply excessive force. After installation, observe if any adjustments are needed on both sides of the connection.
These two pins provide power to the drive in SATA mode. The Type-C interface is used to power the equalizer, read slash write ROM, and adjust the signal. There is no need to connect the hard drive's USB interface when using it. Only the Type-C interface is required for reading slash writing ROM and adjusting the signal. Note, when the Type-C power is turned on, the power supply to the hard drive will be disabled to protect the circuit. Now, to unlock the ROM, we connect the Type-C interface, and the other end is connected to the USB port of the PC host.